Hi, uh, just been asked on YouTube uh, by someone about fading in and fading out in Jashaka. So basically, this is what I'm going to show you kind of how to create. So we have one clip and then it fades out to white. Then it fades into a new clip, which will play through. These are all clips that I did way back in the days when I was first just messing around with videos and stuff. And then that will cross fade out to another clip of some of my mates practicing their martial arts routine and then that flades out to black so as you can see we have three distinct scenes each fading between each other in their own little way and then we fade out to black so kind of you can kind of see this is how you'd put have an actual string of scenes to make your entire movie short film whatever you want to call it so the way I did this I just did this in the animation module as you can see I've got three layers one for each scene so let's go right to the start at the start we have the bridge scene so this is this 3d scene that I made using 3d application again back in the day and then what I've done here is, is quite simply is to create that transition of out of the colorizing and here as you can see there's it's completely fine there's nothing wrong with it then literally a few frames later so in fact four frames later I changed the gamma down to zero to one and that's basically faded it back to zero to white and then what I've done is then I've faded the next layer on top which is this layer as you can see oh. and if we click on that layer basically all I did is I, I went to frame 209 and I just got the transparency put it to zero clicked plus then I went a few frames later and I click the transparency I change the transparency to 100 click on plus so in between I get this nice fade in to get the cross dissolve I did basically the same thing so I went to where I wanted my dissolved start got my transparency put made sure it's on plus plus clicked on 100 sorry click plus keyframe then took to where I wanted to end and uh, put it down to zero click plus and then what I did is is I did the same but in reverse with the clip on top so with this clip I, at that exact point I made sure the transparency was a hundred so by making sure the transparency is a hundred plus plus and then I went back to where this clip is supposed to start fading out and I put the transparency up down to zero and I clicked on plus and so as they go through you get that fade now there's a bit of darkness at the start and that's because I haven't completely lined them up but if you lined them up properly you'd get a complete cross fade through between the two and then literally just to fade out from the last one it was a simple case of going to the point where I wanted the fade out to start and clicking on plus keyframe going to the point where I wanted the fade out to finish Again, just putting the transparency down. Click on plus. There you go. As you can notice, my world layer is unchecked. If it was checked, this is what you'd see, and that was what would be rendered out. But if you uncheck it, that's fine. And then it can still be rendered out, as you saw in the editing module. I rendered it out from the animation module, perfectly fine. And that is basically how you do it. Now, uh, there was obviously one thing to do. Uh, the way Sharker works is this: the top layer. So this comes above that, becomes above that. If you for if you don't uh, when you're back here we didn't actually fade out the bridge layer because we just used the fact that this layer is on top that it'll fade in over top but when you're fading out to black at the end here no we don't need you this will actually show up if the transparency is not set down to zero so before you decide to fade out your topmost layer just make sure you fade out this back layer this bottom layer or any of the bottom layers are all faded out and that way you'll get a fade out to black I uh, hope that actually made sense. Basically, if your layer is above any other layers and you want it to fade out to black and you're going to use the world layer as your black layer to fade out to, make sure the layers underneath are already completely transparent before you decide to do your fade, otherwise they'll show up. It's pretty simple. Uh, if anyone needs any more clarification on that, let me know. But yeah, uh, that is basically how you do fading out in Jashaka. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Bye.